four rum drinks to beat the heat this summer. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Bartender and the Butcher. Today we're going to be making two of my old classics and two of my new favorite rum cocktails that are refreshing, that are great on any hot day. So to start, we're gonna make the mojito. Mojito's gonna be super simple, they're delicious. Everyone makes their mojito a little bit differently. First, you're gonna need a Demerara simple syrup. You can also use a normal simple syrup depending on what type of rum you're using. Next, you're gonna need freshly squeezed lime juice or super lime juice. So what I use, check out the YouTube video about it. Makes your life so much easier when you're making a lot of drinks. Next, you're gonna want a nice quality rum, either a light rum or a clear white rum. Uh, both work really good in a mojito. I really prefer Plantation. Plantation three year is also really good. Then you're gonna need some club soda or seltzer water to top it all off and some mint as garnish. To start, I always start with the simple syrup. Three quarters of an ounce of Demerara simple syrup. One full ounce of lime juice. Two ounces of a nice light or clear rum. And that's it. It's essentially a daiquiri. The differences from here, I throw in some mint straight into the shaker that gets pulverized and then I strain it out. We're gonna grab five, six, seven mint leaves, smack them, throw them in, fill our small side of the shaker up with ice and give it a nice hard shake. And it is good to go. The glass I use for this is gonna be a tall Tom Collins glass. Works perfectly for this drink. I also do it a little bit different, so I'm gonna fill it up to about here with ice, put a mint sprig into it, and then fill the rest with ice. We double strain to get the pieces of mint that got crushed up out. From here, we add our seltzer water or club soda, it's up to you. All the way up, and we're going to put a nice straw. And there you are, the mojito. Cheers. Oh, that is so good. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a minty, bubbly, delicious, sugary water. That's fantastic though. Now, on to number two. The mojito is one of my favorite classic drinks. It's simple, it's easy, there's only four or five ingredients to it. And it really got me started into bartending to see what nice alcohol could do to make a really nice classic drink. Now we're gonna go into the Mai Tai. The Mai Tai is gonna be a little bit similar to the Mojito. The only difference is we're gonna add a second rum, dry curacao and orge. Change the ratios a little bit, but that's basically it. You can also do one type of rum for a Mai Tai and then you're just adding dry curacao and orge. That's easy peasy, let's get started. So the ingredients for the Mai Tai are gonna be orge, Demerara simple syrup, a high quality dry curacao, I like to use a bamboo rum because it's nice and vanilla, it gives a lot of notes off. And then a dark aged blended rum to give a little bit more character to it. Lastly, like almost all rum drinks, lime juice. Always start with the syrups. Half an ounce of orge, a quarter ounce of Demerara simple syrup. We're gonna do half an ounce of dry curacao, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and then one ounce of two of your favorite rums that you think would go together very well. It smells so good. And just like the mojito, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm gonna take cement leaves and throw them right in. All right, get some ice and shake it up. And you wanna shake it really nice and hard to be able to break up all those pieces of mint and really get all the oils that you can out of that mint. It is ready to go. Glassware, you're gonna to wanna to have a old fashioned glass, double old fashioned glass. You can use normal cubed ice. A lot of people use crushed ice. I have cocktail ice, that's what I'm gonna to use today. And now, we're just going to strain it right in. Unlike the mojito, I am not going to double strain it because with a Mai Tai, I kind of want there to be little bits of mint in my drink. Put a straw in it, take a mint sprig, break off the end, and garnish. And that is a Mai Tai. They're so good. When I was first starting to make cocktails and get into it, I started making Mai Tais because one, a lot of people talk about them, and two, 
they use two different types of rum, and I was gifted 60 bottles of rum. If you watched the Between Four Drinks episode, if not, go watch it. Uh, so I had a bunch of different types of rum, and I wanted to experiment with how multiple types of rum changed a drink. So using a dark rum and a sweet rum for this, the Bamboo and the Diplomatica, or di Diplomatico, really just makes for a really nice balanced great Mai Tai. This is fantastic. Yeah. Just yeah, a little bit. So those are the old classics. Now we're gonna get into some of my two new favorite cocktails. These have come up while making drinks for Hannah's whole family of 10 freaking people. And we have the Smuggler's Cove book. So I got all the ingredients for it. They just flip through, they pick a drink, I make it, and it's come out with some really, really delicious stuff. So this is called the Golden Gun. Hannah's older brothers decided to pick it because they thought the name was funny and it reminded them of Call of Duty. So that's why they picked it and it turned out to be fantastic. So you do need quite a bit of ingredients. First, like a lot of rum drinks, you're gonna need Demerara sugar. Second, apricot liqueur. You're going to need freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. Then you're going to want two different types of rum, a blended aged rum and a lighter rum. And we're gonna put it all together. So like always, we're gonna start with the sugar first, a half ounce of Demerara sugar. Next, the apricot liqueur, or in my case, apricot brandy, cause I, I've went to so many liquor stores and I cannot find apricot liqueur. Half ounce of apricot liqueur. Three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. In my case, super juice. Half an ounce of grapefruit. And then one ounce of both of your rums. And I've forgotten an ingredient. A couple dashes of Angostura bitters. Two to four, get your ice. And we're gonna give it a nice hard shake. Good to go. You wanna grab a Tom Collins glass for this drink, fill it up with your, again, crushed ice. I'm gonna use cubed ice. I think in this personal drink, cubed ice is where you wanna go. And we are going to strain right into the ice. Perfect. And this is the golden gun. Cheers. There's like a back end spice. It's like a mojito had a spicy child. <laughs> it is a little spicy. It's really good. And that is how you make a golden gun. On to my last of the two new favorites. And that's gonna be the trade wins. Trade wins came up also in the Smuggler's Cove book because my sister-in-law is okay with alcohol, really likes coconut. So I wanted to give her something that kind of mashed them together. A lot of coconut flavor, a lot of juice flavor, but not so much alcohol. And so we looked and we found the trade wins. To start it off, you're going to need a coconut cream. This came from the Smuggler's Cove. It's literally coconut milk and simple syrup. You immersion blend coconut milk and the simple syrup together, one to one ratio, and you have coconut cream. Next, we're gonna need lemon juice. We're gonna need apricot liqueur, in my case, apricot brandy. And then you need two different rums. Again, you can also use one, but you're gonna want a darker aged blended rum, and then you're gonna want a lighter rum. These two rums are very intense in flavor. If you're looking to give someone this drink that doesn't necessarily like any intensity of alcohol, the bamboo in the plantation would be really good. The bamboo in Don Q would be really good. Things that are a little bit less intense in flavor. So let's get into it. One and a half ounces of the coconut cream. This is also coming in a video soon because we are going to be starting a tiki series. So I'm going to come out with all of the syrups that you need and all of the different things you need to start making tiki drinks. Next, you're gonna need one ounce of lemon juice. This case, we're just gonna do half a lemon. The other half got exactly one ounce. So I'm sure this half will do the right job. And now it's really simple from here. It's one ounce of lemon juice, one ounce of the apricot liqueur, one ounce of both rums. That's literally it. We're gonna fill it with ice and give it a nice hard shake. All right, and it is ready to go. The Smuggler's Cove actually calls for a Tom Collins glass. I think the drink goes great in one of these fish bowl, mini fish bowl style of glasses. I actually don't know the exact name of this. This one's from Red Clay, a cidery in North Carolina. It's delicious, and I dirty pour it right in. We're gonna throw a straw in here and we're going to try the trade wins. 
and that's delicious. It's really smooth, it's really creamy. It is extremely good, and this is extremely easy to make. I'm, I literally made this in three minutes. It was super easy. It took an immersion blender, simple syrup I already had made, and coconut milk. This will last two weeks in the fridge. Be on the lookout for that video coming out. We're gonna go over that. We're gonna go over vanilla, honey, cinnamon, all the types of syrups that you could want that I haven't made before. You took it. <laughs> but that is the trade wins. And those are the four rum drinks that'll get you to beat the summer heat. If you watched all the way through, thank you very much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something about some great rum tiki drinks. Remember, you can use any type of rum you want for any of these drinks. Experiment, try different ones, use two types of rum, one type of rum, whatever you want to do with these drinks, you can. And tiki drinks and rum drinks are super forgiving. Please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe for more bartending and butchery content. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Action. Old fashioned glass. Can you grab me a double old fashioned glass, please? Today we are. Today I am. Today we are. So we're cutting it there.